much, and I'm at Tagus on Twitter, which I'm not there very often because I'm more of a Facebook girl. Don't throw things at me. <laughs> so if you want to find me on Facebook, it's just Shelly, S-H-E-L-L-I-E, dot couch, C-O-U-C-H, just like the furniture. But anyway, <laughs> I was going to talk to you today about joy in the state of now. And I really had a hard time narrowing that down because there's so many things I wanted to talk about. So since you guys didn't really know me at all, I decided the easiest thing to do would be to just kind of tell you my story of how I found joy using social media, which I know sounds just absolutely ludicrous, but it really can happen. So let me start out by telling you a little bit of my history. I've not always been the happy, joyous person that you see before you today. Um, many of the people that see me here today that know me think that I'm positive and bubbly and all that, and I am now, <laughs> but I haven't always been that way. I started out as a happy kid, and then puberty hit, and hormones hit, and things went crazy, and I tried to kill myself a couple times in, in grade school or middle school, and you know, it was kind of a half-hearted attempt. I just crying out for help. Then. I was raped when I was 14. And after that, high school, high school was a little bit better. I had a lot of friends and could kind of maintain a little bit. But after that, things kind of really went downhill. I had some really, really major depression going on. And I couldn't figure it out. Finally, through a lot of craziness and everything, ending up in a hospital and whatnot, um, I figured out how to stabilize myself by journaling. And that was good, but I wasn't happy. I was maintaining. <laughs> I ended up getting online, and I started out with, you know, the forums and bulletin boards, things that you guys probably have tried before, too, um, which was good. I had somebody to talk to and people that could kind of relate to what I'd gone through and but I didn't really get to meet anybody. Then I found Facebook and reconnected with some old friends, made some new friends, and I found out that there were things to do in my community. I didn't have to sit on my couch at home and just wallow in <laughs> being down. There were actually things to do. <laughs> and who knew? Who knew in my community there were things to do? So I started going out a little bit more and connecting with more people. And through that, I became a little bit more confident and a little bit more happy because I had a life. And so I met some people that gave me some opportunities, some really cool opportunities, people that you're going to see today. Um, it kind of started with Patsy. Patsy started the Hutchinson Social Media Club, and that's when I started meeting the people that I was talking to online in real life. Once that happened, I started making other connections, not just through the social media club, but, but by just asking people, hey, you want to get together, you want to do something that you know, I'd talk to online? And that, that helped a lot. And through that, I gained a little bit more confidence and a little bit more joy and found that there really are some really cool people around here. There are really cool things to do around here. And then I was afforded another really great opportunity. Cody has What's Up Hutch, and he let me interview people on Who's Up Hutch. And I got to meet some really cool people that way. Got to meet people that I probably never would have met. There's just awesome opportunities to really to really find joy on social media, not just by talking to people online, but by connecting with people in real life. And that's really what the main thing is. And what I think in the few short <laughs> sessions that we've had so far has really been the point. Get out there and meet those people that you talk to online. Meet them in real life. Because the connection online is great, but to really make yourself shine you need to meet them in real life. And I know that 
I went short, but that's all I have to tell you. Get out there, meet them. <laughs>